I'm speaking to you from Second Parish Church in Pingham. My name is Stephanie Shute Kelch, and I serve here as the minister. Second Parish is located on the Glad Tidings Plain portion of Main Street, and today I hope to share with you a few moments of glad tidings for these troubled times. We are all living through the COVID-19 pandemic, but we are not all experiencing it the same way. Perceptions of what it's like range all the way from those of patients struggling to take their next breath, to health workers and first responders finding themselves in constant danger, to people out of work and worried about what comes next, as well as people reporting to work and worried about what comes next, to individuals social distancing at home with sufficient food and possibly enough toilet paper, but incredibly bored. For each of us, there is a different story. Not only are we experiencing the pandemic in different ways, but our individual experiences and our attitudes may change day to day as we find within ourselves different levels of endurance or humor or hope. But there is something we are all experiencing together, and that is uncertainty. We don't like uncertainty. In normal times, we are more able to ignore uncertainty by making plans, by establishing routines, by embracing distractions. But these aren't normal times. And uncertainty has lifted its threatening head and stares at us with fearful malice. How can we face that uncertainty? I would suggest that we can face uncertainty by digging deeply into our very being and uncovering what it is we truly love and what it is we firmly believe. That's not the kind of digging most of us like to do. It's the kind of digging that requires deep reflection and careful thought and sometimes pain. Usually, we save such monumental effort for moments of life's passages, and even then, we are careful with it. But when we honestly regard who and what we love, when we express and gently share what we more often take for granted, we can uncover a rich garden of reward and affirmation that nourishes our hearts. When we carefully contemplate what it is we believe, not only in our own life, but beyond our own life, we can encounter a powerful faith journey full of questions and insights that lift and extend our spirits. There are many ways to do both of these things, and they have never been more accessible than they are today. I invite you to explore what you love and what you believe. As you do, may you see anew the treasures, not just of your own individual life, but also the continuity of what survives in human life. You may make your peace with the ongoing uncertainty that human beings have never tamed, but ever explored with both faith and science, hope and humility, rigor and generosity. I wish you all the best on this journey and remind you that you are not now and have never been alone. Thank you.